Okay, today I'm going to be going over the Ronbis lineup and just explaining the differences between their paddle offerings so you can better decide what is right for you. Ronbis is another enthusiast brand of paddles and has something for beginners to intermediates to advanced players at competitive prices. They also have been developing new technologies and techniques in the manufacturing process to bring some innovation to the paddle space as well. Love to see it. The Ronbis paddles are divided into four different series, which are the original R series, the Pulse Pulsar series, the Nova series, and the EV series. Paddles are then further categorized into different shapes, R1, R2, and R3. Let's first get into the original R series. These paddles are the most affordable in Ronbus's lineup, coming in at $120 USD at the time of recording this video. They are solid Gen 1 paddles that utilizes a raw carbon fiber texture in the paddle face and a polypropylene honeycomb core, which is common with the vast majority of paddles out there on the market today. All of the R series and actually all of the paddles that Ronbus offers come in at a 16 millimeter thickness. They currently don't have any other thick core offerings. If you look at the paddle face of the R series, you will see that the shape is listed first, followed by the number 16, which delineates the thickness of the paddle. So R116, R216, and R316. Makes sense, right? I'm going to presume that if Ronbus ever decides to release 14mm versions of their R series, that it would follow a similar name convention by naming the shape first, followed by the core thickness, such as R114 and so forth. Speaking of shapes, you are probably wondering what's the difference between them. The R1 is an elongated shape with a curved edge at the top. It has a 16 and a half inch length, a seven and a half inch width, and a grip length of 5.5 inches. This shape is probably the best option for most players that are looking for a great all around, all court paddle. With a swing weight of 115, it's not too heavy to swing through the air, but you aren't sacrificing too much power since the elongated shape still provides the leverage that you need to put some pace on your drives from the back of the court. All of Ronbus's paddles use a T700 raw carbon fiber, and they also have an octagonal handle grip. In comparison, the R2 prioritizes speed and maneuverability for those quick volley to volley exchanges you might find yourself in when you are at the no volley zone. The R2 is about an inch shorter than the R1, but also half an inch wider with a more oval face shape. The handle is a bit shorter as well, coming in at 4.9 inches. This combination of specs along with its very low average swing weight of 102 makes the paddle incredibly fast in the hands and ideal for counters, reset, and off the bounce attacks. If you like to play very quick and fast at the kitchen, then this could be an ideal shape for you. The last shape to go over is the R3. Honestly, this shape is not that much different from the R1. It's an elongated shape, just like the R1, but it has a more rectangular base. The length, width, grip length is pretty much identical, so you may be wondering, is there a difference at all, or why would one choose the R3 over the R1? Well, the main difference is the swing weight. That additional mass in the top two corners found in the R3 gives this shape a bit higher swing weight, coming in at an average score of 118. This makes it a bit slower to swing when moving through the air, but what you lose in speed, you gain in power and court penetration from your drives and full strokes. I'd recommend this shape to players who like to drive the ball and have strong serves and returns. If you play a fair amount of singles, this is a good option for you. Okay, so the original R series is an entry level line of paddles catered, but not limited to people just getting into the sport of pickleball. I know plenty of high level players who play with the R3 16, and I would honestly start with the paddle in the original R series to see if you think you might need more power or durability as you start to play pickleball more and more. The next series I want to go over is the Pulsar series. I made a video on the Pulsar, which you can check out in the link in the description. The Pulsar is Ronbus's power centric series that is heat molded, thermoformed, and unibody. It's a quite plush and muted feeling paddle, which can be either a good thing or a bad thing depending on your personal preference. The Pulsar only comes in the R1 and R3 shapes, which I think is kind of a shame as I would have loved to see an R2 option as I think that the shape of the R2 would benefit the most from getting a bit more power combined with its speed. Now, I personally played with the R3 Pulsar and it served me really well, especially for singles and for hard drives, serves, and returns that I like to hit. 
However, I'd probably say the R1 Pulsar is a better overall pick for most people if you want just a bit more versatility and hand speed in your game. However, both are great and I think the Pulsar series is my personal favorite from Ronbus's lineup. If you need some extra heat on your shots or feel like you are having a tough time getting enough pace to put away balls, then I would definitely pick up the Pulsar. I will say though that the Pulsar series utilizes a more fine peel ply textured surface, which is actually incredible for spin from the baseline when fresh out of the box, but I think they don't last as long as the rougher surface you find in the original R series. And the original R series, I don't think it has that much more rough of a surface if I remember correctly but I do think the original R series was a little bit grittier not by much but just a little bit and honestly that could have just been variations between the paddles that I got just something to keep in mind in your purchase making decision next up is the Nova series of paddles and you can sort of think of this as the sibling to the Pulsar series but with more control Ron states that it's a thermoform unibody paddle similar to the Pulsar but with some new tech implemented into the edge walls to help with durability in fact that's kind of how I would describe it the Nova is a premium paddle that sits between the original R series and the Pulsar series in terms of power, but has the added benefit of more durability and less likely to have problems such as delamination in the paddle face sheets, disbonding of the face from the core, and core corruption or core crushing. The Nova only comes in the R1 and R3 shapes, much like the Pulsar, and while it's good, I don't know if I would choose it over the Pulsar or even the original R series, unless paddle durability and longevity are of the utmost importance to you. The reason I say this is because, I mean, if you are looking for power, you are going to be looking at the Pulsar series, right? But if you are looking for a more control centric paddle, then you are also considering the original R series. The Nova does get more power than the original R series, but in my opinion, it's not by much. And not only that, but with the way the edge wall is constructed in the Nova to make it more rigid with that like edge card grid or matrix that they claim they use, which is essentially holes just that they drilled into the edge wall. It increases the swing weight of the paddle and you lose the hand speed without the benefit of the additional pop you would find in a paddle that has a solid edge wall, like the one you would find on the Pulsar series. On top of these considerations, the Nova also is more expensive than the R series and the Pulsar, and the Nova comes in at $180 USD compared to the $120 and $150 you find in the original R series and the Pulsar respectively. You can use my code PICKBALLWILL to help save you some cash, but you know, just something to keep in mind. With all that being said, I do think the Nova is still a great performing paddle and the light blue edge guard found on the R3 Nova looks really good and actually might sway me towards the Nova. Looks matter. Last but not least, we have the EV2, which is Rhombus' latest version of their EVA foam paddle. I had their EV1 and I did a video about it, which you can check out in the description below. These paddles are not USAP approved for sanctioned tournament play, but you can use them for recreational play and maybe your local tournaments. The EV2 is only offered in the R3 shape and utilizes EVA foam in the core and is probably the most powerful paddle in the lineup. It has plush but springy feel that gives off an effect of a trampoline when striking the ball. It feels surprisingly soft and absorbs the fast hits well, but if you're not careful with your swings, the shots you hit are going to be flying fast and out. With the EV2 and honestly almost any other EVA foam paddle out there, it's really just the energy return that you, like when you put into the paddle, comes out of the paddle. The paddle doesn't absorb much of it. All that energy transfers to the ball, which causes all these EVA foam paddles to really shoot out the ball really fast and hard. The EV2 does have an upgrade over its predecessor, the EV1, in the fact that the EV2 sports a raw carbon fiber face now to help with spin along with an edge guard to help with some stability and to protect the edges. The EV2 paddle is definitely a fun paddle to whip out every once in a while and I think most people should at least try to hit with an EVA foam paddle a few times just to kind of see what is possible for a paddle to do. So to recap, you have the original R series for overall playability and affordability, the Pulsar for power, the Nova for control and durability, and the EV2 for some fun. From there, you can further narrow down your selection based on the shape. 
R1, R2, R3. Just keep in mind that not all of the shapes are available in the different series. The R1 is probably the most versatile shape and I think the R116 and R1 Pulsar is what I would recommend to most players from a performance and price standpoint. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, play better. Peace.